G'day people, how are you? It's uh, Joe Springer, Springer Solar. Your Wi-Fi is not working on your inverter. Let's get it sorted for you. So you've either changed your password, you've gone to a new internet service provider, you've got MBN on, you now have to reprogram the Wi-Fi settings on your inverter. First thing you need to do is get out near your inverter and make sure you can see your Wi-Fi network uh, using your phone. If you cannot see your Wi-Fi network, there is no way that your inverter is gonna be able to be connected to the internet. So check on that. If you don't have a Wi-Fi network out near your inverter, you'll need to put in a Wi-Fi extender or you can do a couple of other options. Um, we won't be going through those on this video. So let's make sure that we've got the Wi-Fi network on your phone, first things first. Now, if you haven't changed internet providers, one thing you can do is just shut down your inverter and fire it back up again and see if that does reconnect to your Wi-Fi. If it hasn't, then we need to go into the inverter, change the settings and get you going. Let's have a look at it now. Okay, so you need to get your Phronius um, back onto Wi-Fi. Uh, this Phronius model is your Primo. There's another one in the same series, the Simo. Both of them act exactly the same way to get them back onto Wi-Fi. Um, there is another Phronius, the Gen 24. We will be doing a separate video on that but this is what they call the snap-in inverter. So this bit actually snaps down into this base plate. So if it looks like this, you'll be able to set it up the same way. So we got to get into the menu. So we just go in this back arrow. So these four buttons across the uh, bottom here. So back arrow, you want to go across to the one with the little screwdriver and the spanner. So that's how you get in. So you hit enter, which is the one on the right hand side, the little enter button. So then we want to go down to Wi-Fi access point. So down, Wi-Fi access point, and then you hit enter again. So Wi-Fi access point is stopped. So you want to start it. So we hit enter again, and we wait. And now the Phronius is emitting a Wi-Fi signal that we can get onto, and then we can change the network settings. So I'll take you through that now. Okay, so to set up your Phronius, first of all, you go into the Wi-Fi settings on your phone. You go into Wi-Fi, and then you'll see your Phronius network there so you grab your Phronius network the password for it is one two three four five six seven eight so you join that network just waiting for it so we've got a tick there so we're good to go then you go to your internet browser and you put in the IP address 192.168.250.181 one. So you enter that in to the address bar and hit enter. So now we are talking to the Phronius. So you want to go over to settings, click on that. Once the settings come up, you want to go over to network. So we click on network. Okay, so you've got a couple of options here for the connection mode, WLAN, LAN, and you've got local network via access point. We actually want to set up the WLAN, so the one that's already got a dot on it. So if it didn't, you move it up to the one with the Wi-Fi signal, internet via WLAN. So then we come down and we look for the network. So this one is set up on the Belong network. You click on that, you can hit set. You enter in your password in here. So paste the password, save that. Once you've saved it, it goes blue. It's telling us that it's connected and we're good to go. So then after that, just hit the tick at the top of the page there. The new network settings will now be applied and we have connected to the network. It says down there connected, we're good to go. Everything is done. You can exit out of there. So once you're all finished, uh, you can, this will say stop once it's all done. So you'll see a stop menu there. You can just go back on this back arrow, back arrow, back again. Go across until you see now, and then just hit enter on now, and you can see what the system is producing again. Yeah. 